the accessories that you can pick up with your KitchenAid or Heaven. I got a text message from my mother in this show while I was on television. I love that my whole family texts me while I'm on television <laughs> um, because they know that I will read it. Um, wait a minute, hold on. My mother said, Lizzie, my sister, made pumpkin gelato in 30 minutes with her new KitchenAid ice cream maker. She loves it. I was like, well, <laughs> guess who's not getting any pumpkin gelato? But I get to eat everything else in the studio, oh, so I'm not complaining. Tina Varelli, welcome. Tina Varelli is back in our studio today to talk to us all about it. Lizzie is very well versed in the kitchen. It sounds like it. It sure is. And this is the power of our stand mixer to make beautifully churned ice cream. This is genius. It is genius and real churned ice cream. So it's churning around to create that creamy rich texture. This is our newly designed ice cream bowl attachment. So we've taken what you loved about our original ice cream attachment mm -hmm. and made it even better. It has a pretty design around the edge, mm. newly designed handle, so it's gonna work with your tilt head and your wide bowl, bowl lift models. And it has a newly designed dasher. Shall we get on in here? That's my girl. Look at that creamy richness. So in under 30 minutes, you get that yummy, creamy, rich texture. Just look at that clinging to the dasher there. Just take care of that for you. It is just like heaven. I'm going to put this down here and scoop some of that out into this cute little Temptations dish we have here. It's like a it's Sunday a dish. Show. That is so good. Look at that. So that is a Philadelphia style ice cream. That means it doesn't have any egg in it. And it just came together in under 30 minutes. I would say in about 20 minutes we had this. So it comes out, look at that. <laughs> soft serve. Matterhorn. Soft serve texture. Or you can pack it up so in little containers for that kind of hard pack. So cute. These containers would be amazing. And it makes about so two of these per recipe, depending upon Thank the you. yield of the recipe. So up to two quarts of homemade, real churned ice cream. Look at that. That vanilla is so good. It's light and fluffy, yes. but it's just really well mixed and done. So can we use any ice cream recipe or do we have specifics we should follow? Right, so there's tons of recipes. You can use pretty much any recipe that you want and okay. I posted a whole bunch of them. And the beauty of making your own ice cream is that you can control the ingredients. Got it. So this was a Philadelphia style with no egg. Did that make a clickety click? It did, but oh, you know what? It turn didn't... it off, that's the done signal. Oh, is it? It's like the timer. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So here we're using the bowl lift model. This is a raspberry sorbet. So it's just raspberries, sugar, and water. All you do is have the unit running okay. with your dasher in place, okay. and that's pretty much it. So do you freeze the bowl first? Freeze the bowl okay. first. I like to keep mine in the freezer all the time. So when, because you're smart, you know, when the ice cream craving start, you're ready to go. Daily, like by the minute. <laughs> um, this, who's in there? So this one actually finished before the show even started. It came oh together gosh. so quickly. So this is a custard base of a triple Dutch chocolate. Mm -hmm. So you can make it into Rocky. Oh, Excuse me. my I'm goodness. Sorry. I just need one of these. You can make this Rocky Road. Ma'am. Look at that texture. That is just stunning. You could put marshmallows in there to make it Rocky Road. We also have some peppermint bark. If you would put a little bit of peppermint extract, a little bit of peppermint bark in there. I'm going to put this aside here so that we can do some scooping. That's like frozen chocolate mousse. It's so good. Look at that texture. Creamy and thick right out of the bowl. It freezes so quickly. I just had an experience. <laughs> I just had an emotional experience. Now, if I'm shopping right now and I know that it's a sale price, if purchased separately, it would be $113 and change. We have it for $74.99 right now and it's on free shipping. Oh. How do I, oh, uh, girl. Uh, oh, I've never seen a chocolate <laughs> pull before. I've seen a cheese pull. Um, but wait a minute, how do I know this fits my KitchenAid? Right, so you can always check on um, 
qbc.com okay. and we have all the models listed. So basically it's gonna fit any tilt head, four and a half quarts and above. So definitely your artisan and your classic. It's not gonna fit the mini and it's gonna fit your more recent bowl lift models. The ones that fit the wide metal bowl. Look at that, peppermint bark in there, marshmallows, that is heaven. That chocolate ice cream is my new personality. Oh, let's not forget this guy here. Oh, sorry, let me move. Look at this vanilla. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's more spoons. Oh my goodness. And this one gets a strawberry what? swirl. We're just gonna kind of go rogue here. Oh, yes, that's my whole life. Let me just help you out. Let me, I don't wanna get in the way or anything. So you can maybe... go sugar free. You can go dairy free and it's freshly made. The ice cream that you buy at the grocery store, who knows when and where it was made, or if you can even read the ingredients on the label. Look but what she with did. this, you make homemade fresh ice cream and look at the gorgeous, gorgeous texture right out of the bowl. Oh my goodness. Tina Varelli. <laughs> I was trying to talk to her and then. <laughs> I choked a little bit, but I'm okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a solid four scoops of ice cream in the last three months, but it's, you know, um, it's so easy to do at home and you use the power of your KitchenAid to do it. Right. Can we watch what she's doing? Just, just, can we just do this? So how about what a great gift if someone in your family or a friend has a stand mixer? Can I help maybe add a little crunchy? What a great accessory for that. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I mean, I like how you live, Tina Varelli. You have all good ideas. Yeah. I think you might be a genius. Um, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you for you. being here. Oh my gosh. Now, will you be in, in the kitchen with David tomorrow? I'm uh, not tomorrow, Wednesday okay. night. Okay, okay, wonderful. We'll yeah. see you then, my friend. Hey, we wanted to give you, oh, please order that while we have it. Sale price, amazing value. Um, we wanted to give you a little heads up on something that was popular in the show at the very end of our show. Whoa. Um, I'm gonna chase that tray down the table, or that table down.